Hey, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. I wanted to start a new series and call it Crazy Internet Stuff. Now, there's some other series out there. I know Jaeger does stupid internet stuff, and I don't want to call myself stupid because some of the stuff that I've read and seen are like, huh, that's pretty, that's different. <laughs> so, I'm going to call mine Crazy Internet Stuff. Now, this is going to be different than my Quick Tips video. Let's not get those confused. So, Quick Tips are the little uh, bit of information, little nuggets of information that I give you. Uh, just because you never know when you'll be the first responder. It's usually one topic, just a few minutes of video. But this is going to be on the opposite end of the spectrum. This is going to be the crazy stuff that you read about, that you're like, wow, that's that's out there. That's kind of crazy. So that's what this series is about. So this first video is going to be about taking a safety pin and putting it through your bottom lip, your patient's bottom lip, and their tongue. So in theory, you would put this in there and this is going to hold your patient's airway open. Now I'm not saying this is stupid or dumb. I would just like to know what scenario that you find yourself in that you think this is the best way to protect your patient's airway. So let's go back. So you have a patient who's semi-conscious or unconscious and they start snoring. That's because the tongue has fallen back on the uh, throat. So there's a couple of ways we can open this airway up the traditional way. So the one is just to manually open it up. You can do a head tilt chin lift where you take the palm of your hand, put it on the forehead, take your fingers and lift up the jaw. This is gonna open up the airway. You can also do a jaw thrust. This is where we put the palm of our hands on their chin and lift our fingers to lift their jaw up. Now this was the jaw thrust. This is gonna open the airway. Now, if the patient is relaxed and muscles relaxed, if you let go of this, odds are that their airways can become occluded again, and they're gonna start having that snore and respiratory rate again. So the other way that we traditionally do this is with an airway adjunct. The OPA gets inserted into the patient's mouth, and this will hit the gag reflex if they're not completely unconscious, just an FYI. But then you have an MPA. This goes into the nose. This is not hit their gag reflex. So you have some airway adjuncts here you can use. This is more traditional way. This video is about taking a safety pin through there. So I'm not saying it's the it's pretty crazy that you would do this. You would find yourself in the scenario where this is the best way you could do it. So there's other ways to do this, better ways to do it. So what are some ways that you've read that you've seen on the internet of different forums, maybe YouTube videos of some crazy uh, medical stuff that you've seen? Um, I asked the question on my Facebook page. I got a good list going. So what are some things you've seen that you're like, man, that's pretty crazy. I don't know about that. So Thank you guys for watching. You never know when you'll be the first responder. Remember the right gear and the right training. Just in case I didn't make it perfectly clear, I'm not advocating that you take a safety pin, stick it through your patient's lip and tongue. Don't do that. 